gang fights. Every, I think, but I also think everybody when they're fighting really does, you know, and I always felt like when you would fight with your parents, you become a, a belligerent teenager. Yeah. I think that's who we are for the rest of our lives. But more fights. Teresa and Melissa. See, that to me is like, like, do I think Kathy and Kyle will reconcile, like you said, at some point? Yes. I mean, they even say like, look, this is our family. Welcome to it. It's deep seated. No, I think Teresa and Melissa are totally different. I think this is it. I mean, they've basically said this. I mean, uh, Teresa said on the reunion to her brother, like basically told Melissa to shut up. She's like, I'm speaking to my brother. This is the last time I'll ever speak to him. I mean, those are actually her exact words. I think this, and that's the other thing. It's like Melissa and she's married to the, I think it's over between Melissa and her husband, who is Teresa's brother and Teresa. Do I think, I mean, they make a lot of money that those two, I don't know if New Jersey can come back with both of them. The rumor is, I mean, a lot of people think this is the end for Melissa. I mean, Teresa's not getting fired, love her or don't love her. No, she's not going anywhere. So, I mean, look, they've had seasons where she's not gotten along with certain people and they were able to film. But I mean, this is so like there is this New Jersey pause, which you can call it whatever you want, but it normally starts filming two weeks after and they're not doing that. So they really are trying to like, and the public is, I mean, the difference ravenous, is ravenous, ravenous. Trust me, when I have a guest on that is pro one or pro the other, it is like people are, it is like 50, 50 people are so like Bravo just wants this to die down. I mean, they also, I think are trying to figure out how to do this. Like, I don't think they want to lose Melissa, but I think I don't see personally how they could film with both of them. And they've done this before where they've just said, suck it up, pretend, you know, for the money. But I think the thing is Bravo saying the public is not dumb and we've done this before. And it's clear that, I mean, we can't just turn the cameras on and pretend this never happened. So they're actually attempting to make the New Jersey housewives somewhat real <laughs> instead of just saying, take your damn money and just smile. Because I think they would possibly do that eventually, although they say they're not going to. Like, Teresa's like, you're going. Like, goodbye. This is your last time here ever. Like, she's also, I mean, I would tread lightly the more you say things like that, right? But she's not going anywhere. I don't know. I think I think that one's a mess, to be honest with you. And speaking of messes. Yes. Vanderpump Rules has been rushed back into production. I was just reading the other day, though, a lot of people are really taking swings still at Tom, as they should be. People are not happy. I mean, my whole thing is like, so I don't know if Jax is back. The rumor is Jax is filming, but Raquel is not like there. So I I still go back to like, is she, is someone working with her? Like, is it, because at this point, everyone has spoken in some capacity except her in a way we want to hear i think you even said last time we did this that she we want to hear what she has to say yeah i mean i still don't know like is she in like a you know wellness center um like a mental facility that is the impression but they're filming now no one knows where, where like she is so i don't know i don't know are we just going to move forward without her or is she just so smart and has a whole team that's just saying like, no, you can't speak. And Or is Bravo involved in saying don't speak? I don't know. I'm so confused on this. I've said this before. She really confuses me. But there is definitely something. Bravo is too smart. The production company, including Andy, is too smart. And her agent is too smart. There is yeah. some, her version of the Oprah interview has to be coming. And I would not be surprised if it was timed with the premiere of the show. And I assume if you do that for someone outside Bravo, even with Bravo, you're not just doing that. I assume there's a something going into your bank account at that time. Well, generally people aren't paid for these interviews, but these people are also owned by Bravo, especially when it comes to image and PR. Yeah. So I don't think there's any way in hell that she would be going rogue and doing an interview without Bravo's knowledge. Also, what people forget, you're under contract. There you are, are. Do's, there are do's and don'ts spelled out. Like the best was 
there's always a morality clause, which everybody always forgets. And sometimes when someone's exhibited really poor behavior, they invoke the morality clause in everybody's contract. It's always there. Like, it's, 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 it's standard operating procedure. So I don't think she, I just think whoever's got her ear is so smart. Watch, it's going to come out that it's Chris, Chris Jenner. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like I said, I, I would hire Chris Jenner if oh, I needed. Oh, in a heartbeat. But, you know, Tom Sandoval did, you know, he went on Howie Mandel, which he also got, you know, they they get dinged. I don't know about him, but like I had Kelly Dodd on my podcast. She got fined $16,000 for wearing a Drunk Wives Matter hat. And I know other housewives that have gotten, I guess maybe that's under the morality clause. I I, I don't know, but they get fined. But I don't know. But again, we don't know the ins and outs of their contracts. I think we have to dig around and see if we can get a template. We need a Bravo contract, Melissa. Oh my God, we do. We need our own wrap. We need our own wrap up show, even if it's just on bravo.com. Listen, I- I'm available, right? We'll be oh. nice. We'll be like, just, but we should like interview certain people or just this. Yeah, just this. this. Is, and we're cheap dates. We're cheap dates. Well, listen, again, I go back to this. You, you know, fashion police, executive producer, come on. Like you have, don't call somebody over there at E and, I'll do it on E. I mean, you know, but I think Bravo is where we should do it. They, they, they tried it kind of, I don't know if you remember the show. They tried it with like Giselle from Potomac, Portia. It didn't work, but they didn't have us. And we are cheap dates. And we are very, but also remember on watch what happened live, they have all the people on, but we don't have to have the people on. Like they can do cameos. We can just discuss and speculate. speculate. I am fine with that. We can talk. It's just more PR for their show, right? We can tie it into this podcast. Like whatever they want, we are cheap dates. Yeah, I'll do it for gas money. I will do it. I don't drive. I will do it for Starbucks money. So Or Uber or Uber money. Oh my God, honey. Uber is no joke. I will do Uber in the Hamptons is no joke, but I'll be in LA anytime they want me. I'll just be in LA more. I'll, I'll, I'll. That or I think we need to be friends of the, of the housewives, but in Every single franchise. We can be like the Greek chorus in the background. That works too. I mean, listen, and just, I I will get on a plane tonight. Like we can, I literally will go to the airport after this chat with you. If if, if they're listening and want to hire us right now, I just need Starbucks money and I'll get my own plane ticket. I do it for gas money. Okay. This is, let's make it happen, girl. Okay. We're on it. I love you so much. I love you. I could talk to you forever. Well, let's start making our notes for next month. There's and, you so know, much. There is 